Hi, everyone. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator. And I'm Trenton Bennett, and I am also an audiobook narrator. We are here to discuss things that are on our minds uh, in the craft, the art, and the industry. And um, if you are new to audiobooks, this might be a particularly encouraging uh, series for you. And if you're not new to audiobooks, you know, uh, enjoy yourself and uh, put in the comments any ideas that you have additionally. So uh, today is Father's Day. And I thought, uh, as I'm not a parent, but Trenton is, and I wanted to uh, see if he has any uh, metaphorical advice about raising your audiobook career kid as uh, since he is a dad and has had some success at that. So take it away. <laughs> that metaphor works so well in multiple ways. I'd say the biggest for me, though, especially because my kid is also in the creative industry as an animator, I have to say to myself, what kind of an example as a parent am I setting? And it's it flows into what kind of an example as a professional. If I'm not out there doing auditions and working to land a book and then delivering really well, putting the quality in and the time, I have to set that example. So one of the ways that I can hold myself accountable apart from having to work with this genius here that I get together every week and I got to say, OK, I'm accountable to him. I'm also accountable to others because for my peers, just like for my child, if I don't set that example and say, look, I'm not going to sit and wait for the work to come in. I got to go chase it and I got to go be on it and be willing to do those auditions and put in that extra legwork. You know, something that uh, that also occurs to me with uh, with raising um, a child uh, and, you know, you and I have discussed this is to uh, not get into a locked mindset of one size fits all. Yes, very much so. Yes, because you're the same thing is with the relationships with your authors and your publishers. Every one of them is different. Every child is going to be different. No matter how much you want them to be a particular way, or you're going to go, oh gosh, they're just like their mother, or they're just like their dad, they're going to be their own person. Mm -hmm. And the same is true with each new publisher, new author. It's never going to be the same experience, and so you have to adapt to that, and you have to be willing to shepherd them the right way for them, for their own personal growth, whether it's by successfully delivering the project because they want it delivered this way versus that way, like the one I just did that was just raw audio but no um errors versus fully produced and compressed and normalized you have to do that each differently and also tackle their perspectives too because some clients are more anxious than others and will ring in with you more often and some clients are less and they're more hands off okay well, you know, another thing, uh, folks, that I'll mention is uh, that um, I imagine and, uh, you know, when I, I, I'm a sucker for celebrity biographies and, and stuff like that. So one of the things that uh, keeps coming up, coming up, coming up is um, how uh, celebrities who regret the way in which they raised their kids or the relationship that they have with their kids tend to regret it because they weren't around enough um when uh when the child was growing up and uh you know that makes me think of the old adage that you know it's it's you know it's all about attendance right showing up mm -hmm. and i can say that uh trenton shows up consistently in our relationship and i seriously you know i i, I don't have records for this because he has not disclosed them um uh but you know, I, I cannot imagine that Trenton does not show up uh, for his family and such. And showing up, getting in the studio, doing the work. I'm going to have to do it tonight, you know, or I don't have to, but I'm going to choose to do it tonight because um, that is what I do. Um, showing up, showing up, showing up. Uh, if you can show up consistently, then you will get the information you need as to what the child needs. Um so that's that's uh, that's my piece of it as a non dad. Beautifully uh, put. As a dad, you. I'd say there were so many times that I know I put in the extra effort. I'd be tired and I'd get down on the floor with the kid and I'd play with them. But there's also there's plenty of times where I always could feel like, well, I could have done more of that. But you know what? I'm happy for the time I had because I put in what I could. Mm. You show and, up. And isn't that nice too to be happy for for what you got to do? 
Marvelous. Well, I'm Matt Haynes. And I'm Trenton Bennett. And as your narrators and teachers of narration, I hope that our voices and your ears meet again real soon. And to any dads who happen to be narrators, happy, happy Father's, Father's Day, Day to you. <laughs>